Well, hello everyone, it's Nolka here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D fire effect in the Ghetto engine. So, let's get right into it. First of all, we want to set up a particle system for the flames. In a basic spatial scene, add a particles node as a child. And here, under the draw passes section, we want to add a quad mesh. In it, we need to set up a spatial material. In here, we want to set up a few flags. The first is transparent and the second is unshaded. Next, under the parameters section, we want to set the blend mode to add and the billboard mode to particle billboard. When we are at it, we need to check use as albedo under the vertex color section. Back in the particles node, we want to change a few parameters. For example, amount should be around 200. Under the time section, we want the lifetime to be set to 0.5 and the randomness to 1. Next, under the drawing section, we want to uncheck local coordinates and the draw order should be set to view depth. Now, under process material, we want to add a new particles material. It's in here that we will be designing the particle system. First of all, we want to disable gravity, so we will set the y-axis of it to zero. Next, we want to give the particles some initial velocity. I will set it to five. Then, the direction should be pointed towards the top, so we set it to zero on the x-axis and to 1 on the y-axis. I will also put the spread down to 0. Next, we want to have the particles starting at a random angle. To do this, we go to the angle section, set it to 360 and set the angle random to 1. As you can see, now each particle is spawning at a random orientation and we want each particle to spin. To do this, we go under the angular velocity and we set the velocity to 40 and I will set the velocity random to 1. When we are at it, I forgot to set the initial velocity randomness to 0.1. Now we want to start modeling the flame. In order to do that, we go under the scale section and set scale random to 0.8 and then set a new curve texture. In our curve texture we want to add a third point. This third point will be up the top, so around 1, and the first should be around 0. Then we will move the middle point somewhere to the beginning, around here, and then the last point should go down almost to 0. We should have a shape looking like this. Next, to get it better looking, we want to go under emission shape and set the shape to a sphere of a radius of 0.4. Now, it starts looking like something. But there is an issue in here. As you can see, those aren't looking like flames. And I found a really neat trick to solve this. If you go under the trail section, you can set the divider to a really high number. And as you can see, we have like some kind of flames forming, but they are really slow. If we go down to something like 11, it starts looking pretty good. I prefer it to have around 6, but you can do however you want. It's up to you to stylize your fire. Finally, there is another thing you could do, and that is to set a linear acceleration. For example, I like it to be around 4, with a randomness of 1. Now what we need to do is to stylize the fire. In order to do that, we go to our draw passes, to the first pass, and to its material. Here, under albedo, we set a texture. I will be using a 30 frame sprite sheet. As you can see, it looks pretty weird right now. 
That is because the sprite sheet consists of six horizontal frames by five vertical frames. We need to set those corresponding parameters in the particle animation section. So we have six horizontal frames and five vertical frames and the animation is a loop. So we check that. Now we need to go to our process material and under animation we set the speed to 1, the offset to 1 too and offset random to 1 as well. Now we want to define a color for the flames. In order to do that we go to the color section and define a new color ramp. I have already made a gradient texture so if you want to download it it will be down in the description. Of course, you could tweak it how you want and make your fire blue or whatever. I like to give some little variations to the color. In order to do that, uh, you can go under the hue variation and set it to something like minus 0.01 and the variation random to 1. Last but not least is to add some glow. To do this, you go to your world environment and check glow. Here you can change a few settings and you can tweak it as you want. For example, I like it when it's set to additive. The fire looks stronger this way. Well, thanks for watching and I hope uh, you learned something today. And stay tuned for part 2 where we are going to add a smoke effect and some sparks around the fire.